Porter. What? Say hi. Hi. Avery. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> Porter, where were you? Preschool. At preschool. I just got back from picking up Porter from preschool. And he brought me back some art. I guess they read like Horton Hears a Who. And so he colored a picture. And then I don't know what this fishbowl is. They must have been learning about fish. And then this is what they did on President's Day last week. They like made the flag, I guess, with the president's. Cute. I just finished making lunch. Today's just like cheese and crackers and some fruit. Um, waiting to get Grayson off the bus. I'll have to go outside in like 15 minutes or so. Today is Leap Day. Obviously, I'm sure you all know about Leap Day. Yeah, so that's kind of unique. Also, since there is no 30th day of February, we are making today Avery's 11 month birthday. Technically, she turns um, each month older on the 30th, but I guess I figure it does not have that. Sorry, I'm like moving you guys around. I'm putting away the dishes while I'm talking to you. So we're gonna do Avery's photo shoot today and just kind of like celebrate today, even though it's like the 29th. Like, what do you do for kids like that? I don't know. Um, thankfully, this is like the only month that we have had to do this in. And then of course, since she's turning 11 months, that means we are one month away or so from her birthday. It's crazy, Avery's about to be one year old. Um, this year has just flown by. I cannot believe she's almost a year old. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And then keep watching on my channel cause I'll make a 11 month update. I'm not sure when I will get that out, but I will record it at some point. Although I really don't feel like Avery has really done that much this past month. She's still not sitting, crawling, walking, any of that. Um, but she is starting to like recognize names. So that's kind of exciting. Like I'll, I'll look at her. Obviously she knows her name. If we say Avery, she'll look. She's known that for a while, but I'll go to, up to her and I'll say, where's Dada? And I do have to say it a couple times, but then she will look and find Anthony. Or I've been teaching her Porter. I'm pretty sure she knows that. Um, I've been teaching her cat and our Felix, the cat. I don't know that she knows mama, maybe. So anyway, that's kind of new with her. And she, like we're teaching her high five, kind of like just tapping motions. But other than that, it's really just kind of the same thing. But anyway, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Other than that, really not much. It's freezing here. February is going out with a bang. Um, we had like a tornado touchdown near us. Um, we actually got woken up at like 5 a.m. with like tornado sirens the other day. It was wild. Um, I don't think I've ever had a tornado touchdown that close to me. Um, but thankfully we weren't anywhere close to where it happened. But yeah, that was kind of crazy. And then that whole tornado thing brought in a bunch of rain and then it just made everything really cold. Um, but by this weekend, it's supposed to warm back up. And then I think, fingers crossed, we are staying in the warm weather. I think this is the end of the cold. Although I keep saying that and then it keeps getting colder, but very exciting that we are finally getting into spring. Well, I mean like March is spring, right? Yeah, we didn't have any damage from the storm or anything like that, so that was good. I have no ivy today, even though it is a Thursday because my sister just decided to call off um, sick. And so I get a day off from watching Ivy, but I miss her. I always feel like I'm missing someone when I don't have her because I'm so used to like counting four in my head. Like, okay, this this one's doing this, this is doing this, this person's doing this. And then I'm like, Ivy is. And then I'm like, oh, she's not here. So, but I'll have her back tomorrow and I had her yesterday. Um, also, speaking of yesterday, I have an update for you guys. We did Avery's most recent helmet appointment where they adjusted it. And they basically told us that we have another appointment in two weeks and that will be the final appointment. The end is in sight. Avery's almost done with the helmet. You can probably see from my videos, I've kind of like 
relaxed Avery wearing the helmet. She doesn't really wear it 23 hours a day anymore. Mostly just wears it when she's sleeping because I'm trying to like prepare her for when in two weeks this helmet is off for like ever <laughs> because she rolls kind of violently and so I need her to learn like, oh, I don't have a helmet there anymore. I need to be more careful. And also I'm wondering if like the helmet is limiting her gross motor development. So anyway, I don't have it on as much anymore, but yes, there is an end in sight. We're going to go in two weeks. It's actually two days shy of six months of wearing the helmet. So Avery basically wore her helmet for six months straight and now we are done. So happy about that. I can actually like do her hair every day. Not that I know what I'm doing, but I have the option. So yeah, we're very excited. That is in sight. I really wanted it to be off by her first birthday and we are hitting it by like two weeks, but we're still hitting it. That's all that matters. She's grumpy. She's like yelling at me like, um, come pick me up. She's been very sassy lately. Like has not liked me walking away from her and not paying attention to her, which is like, hard but it's also good because it shows that like she's showing like that she cares i don't know she's not just being a potato with no emotions or feelings anyway i'm getting off topic but yes almost done with the helmet they'll take updated pictures so i'll have like one last like progress picture i guess and then they'll send us like final stats i'm assuming her head shape will probably be mild once we finish all of this which i think that's like as close to good as she's gonna get probably if i wanted to push for a third helmet maybe i could but they're not suggesting it and i do not want it i don't want to pay for another helmet and i don't want to keep going through all of this i mean just like getting there it's all the way in downtown it's like a 30 minute drive there and then a 30 minute drive back every other week. It's just a lot. So very excited that is coming to an end. Yeah, so that was the update on that. She has physical therapy appointment next week. So that'll be exciting. Let's get like more tips and tricks on that. This weekend we really don't have anything going on because it's Thursday, so I'm looking ahead to the weekend. Oh, actually Saturday we are going to go wedding dress shopping for my sister just to get like options and like she just wants to know like what's out there she's not really looking to like buy right away but just to like see what she would like so we're gonna do that on saturday so maybe i'll like vlog and bring you guys along with that and then sunday anthony is doing a race it's just like a 5k so it's really not that big i mean it's it's a big deal but it's not like a half marathon or a marathon but i don't think i'm gonna go watch him do that because then i'd have to take all the kids to downtown and that just sounds miserable so don't really think i'll vlog that but yeah he's very excited he's been preparing for that i'm i'm not a running person i don't ever see myself doing anything like that but good up for anthony for wanting to do something different and something that gets him like active and in shape okay porter's covering avery with a blanket so i need to go save her i will pick up the camera later dad make your own dinosaur thing hey so the boys I are showing me all their lego and collections and and I this is a prank. Prank. Wow, I gotta get a better system of organizing our Legos. I gotta like put them in bags or something. I mean, I have them in bags, but they're like Ziploc bags. And here's little Avery. We just did her, she's not wanting to be on camera. We just did her photo shoot. I think she's hungry. Hang on. Okay, I'm feeding her a bottle. Sorry, it's kind of blurry. There we go. Here's with her 11 month sticker. We did her photo shoot. That is done. I had a meeting with my sister where we worked on some work stuff and the boys had some tablet time and now we're in the basement and they're gonna build some Legos, I think. And Avery and I are just gonna watch. Yeah, we're just hanging out down here. It's about four. Anthony will come home from work hopefully soon. Oh, thank you. And, oh, they're dumping out the Legos. Yeah, Porter just uh, dumped all that. He's all going to play. Okay, great. So anyway, yeah, we're just going to play down here. And then I wasn't going to make dinner, but I think I will now because tomorrow's Friday and I always do pizza on Friday. <laughs> so I wouldn't make dinner then. And then Saturday I normally would make dinner, but that's when we're going to 
go wedding dress shopping for my sister. So I'll probably skip dinner here. So Anthony will just have to do something for the kids. So I guess I should make dinner tonight. Even though I made it last night, but we didn't have any leftovers. This is like the thoughts that go through my head with like leftovers and what day should I make dinner and what day shouldn't I and yeah I guess I'll I guess I'll figure that one out I don't know I don't have much to talk about that's why I haven't really been vlogging like I haven't vlogged at all this week the last time I vlogged was like, like almost a week ago on Saturday because like nothing much really happens it's just kind of the same old same old so yeah we're just kind of hanging out